Well, the Wisconsin football team is bowl eligible for the 14th straight season, the first under new head coach Paul Christ. It's an exciting time for Badger fans and for the entire Christ family. The head coach off the field is Paul's wife, Robin. After crisscrossing the country the past two decades, the Christs and their three children are finally back where it all began. Robin graciously invited me to her beautiful Middleton home to talk about football, family, and the future. Well, I'm ecstatic to be here. Uh, it's such a blessing to be here. And so it's and it actually it's a, a unique thing too, because this is our third time. And so I'm really just really glad to be back in Wisconsin. You know, we've lived all over. I mean, we've been in Texas, we've been in Oregon, we've been in California, we've been in West Virginia, we've been in Pennsylvania, Illinois. I mean, we've been all over. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like Madison. How many times have you moved your family since you and Paul got married? This is our 13th move. And 13 so, moves in how many years? In 24 years. How, what have you learned from all of those moves? What's it been like for you? You have to be involved. You have to get involved. You have to, when you move somewhere, you can't just be in your shell. You have to be out in the community, get involved. Your kids, um, you know, learning how to um, make friends again. Right. You know, some places you're at, people have been friends with their, you know, friends from kindergarten. You know, but we come in, um, and it's hard. Sometimes they don't want any more friends. What is the best thing and the most challenging thing about being a coach's wife at this level? He loves what he does. And I love that about him. He always used to say he's never worked a day in his life because he loves it so much. Um, come uh, the end of July, I give him a kiss and I'll say, I see you in December. <laughs> and, you know, um, and that's the hard part of it, you know, because I don't see him a lot. Right. You know, and most of our dates are like when we have recruits in town. <laughs> yeah. How romantic. <laughs> yeah, very romantic, yeah. <laughs> Where did you meet Paul? We were um, high school sweethearts. So you junior met what year. year? Junior year. Junior year. And yeah. who asked who out first? Well, I had a crush on him the whole junior year, and he didn't notice me. <laughs> I think he was too busy into football. Oh, so yeah. I think after a while, um, you know, friends telling him, he finally asked me out. And then when did you did you date all through college, or when did you get married? We were off and on through college, so um, we did get married um, probably seven years later. And then yeah. when was you, when were your children born? Uh, Katie was born in 93, Jojo in 95, and Danny in 97. Does your family have any fun um, pre-game or post-game rituals? I do have one when I'm at a game. What's and that? So if we're winning, I make everybody sit in the same spot. No one can move. <laughs> you know, but if we're not doing really well, I'm like, everybody get up, everybody rotate. <laughs> yeah, we, gotta, some yeah, yes. <laughs> we all have to sit in a different seat, you know. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. What is Paul like? after a game. That's a part you know, of the coach we don't ever get to see. Yeah, you, you know, he's pretty quiet if we don't win. You know, and if we do win, I love it because he's a little bit more outgoing. He will talk to people more, yeah. but he doesn't bring it home. One time I brought up, he had a real bad call, one time in our marriage. <laughs> and then it was like probably midnight. We're getting in the bed and I'm like, by the way, what was that call? Oh, and he no. was just like, that was it. And that was probably the last time I've ever asked him about a bad call. <laughs> that was a good lesson yeah, learned. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you personally, because um, you are a team, you and Paul, yes. and there's always so much focus on him. When you have a weekend, when you have nothing scheduled, what kinds of things do you like to do? Like, what are your interests and hobbies? Oh, that's a great question. I don't really have many weekends <laughs> right. free. In all your spare time. I know. Right. But I really do love um, to exercise, oh, cool. and I, um, I love Zumba. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard of Zumba, but I love I've, Zumba. I've always wanted to try yes. it, actually. And then I, you know, usually I have a, the dog, so going to the dog park, this is what I love about Madison, too. Oh, I love yeah. all the dog parks. Yeah. So I'll do that. And um, what else? Read. What I love being I... in a book club. Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. What are you looking forward to over the holidays? Will the whole family be together oh, yes. this year? Yeah, and I'm so ecstatic that we, you know, we made it to bowl. We're bowl eligible. So yeah. we've been going to bowls straight for a while now. So like last week, um, Katie texted Dad, or Paul, and, and said, you know, thank you. You're giving us another great Christmas present Aww. going to a bowl. So we don't know where we're going yet, but we're excited to see where it's at. And that's what your mm -hmm. vacation will be with mm -hmm. your whole group. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, honey, oh, for having thank you us. for coming. And have a wonderful holiday season. You too. We really appreciate it. Thanks for it. coming. It's great On Wisconsin. You. Thanks.
And as you saw in the story, Paul and Robin have three children. Their daughters, Katie and Jojo, are in college in Pittsburgh, and their son, Danny, is a freshman here at the UW. And a funny story, when the Chris were living in Pennsylvania, Danny decided to apply to Wisconsin. He thought to get away from the family a little bit, Oops. and then his dad got hired <laughs> as the head football coach here. But he's not living at home. He's still being on campus. No, he's on campus. Is he part of the football program? He is. He's part of the program. He's working with his dad, which is interesting. It's sort of like everything's come full circle because Paul worked with his father in football as well, and now his son is working with him, which is pretty cool. Circle of life. Yeah.